his agonized outcome as memoir postponed indefinitely after scheduled for release in May. Prince Harry's tell-all memoir which Buckingham Palace insiders feared could reveal secrets and information about the inner workings of the royal family appears to have been delayed again. Publisher Penguin Random House had previously said the book would be released in autumn. But the book has been noticeably absent from promotional material highlighting releases this year. A royal insider told The Sun, if this book's coming out this year as originally planned it should be in the publisher's marketing and promotional list, unless they're planning a surprise or there's been a delay. Its omission has raised lots of eyebrows in royal circles. The Duke of Sussex's memoir will cover his time in the public eye from childhood to the present day. Harry said his book will be written not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become and as an accurate and wholly truthful account of his life. There are fears Harry will delve further into his troubled relationship with his father the Prince of Wales, write about his rift with brother William, or even name the royal accused of making racist remarks. The Duke is also rumoured to be highly critical of Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall. A spokeswoman for Penguin Random House told the paper, We don't put every book on the list so there is nothing to be extrapolated from that. The Duke is rumoured to have been paid millions for the book, which he has vowed to donate to charity. Prince Harry has no plans to rip Queen Elizabeth II or the rest of the royal family in his upcoming memoir. Harry really is going out of his way to make sure that there isn't material in there that can be seen as negative towards the Queen or her reign in any way whatsoever, royal expert Omid Scobie said on the March 10th episode of the Royally Obsessed podcast. The Finding Freedom Cother added that Harry wants to celebrate the Queen's life and his relationship with her in the book. I think as much as the press wants this to be a burn book and an attack on the institution, this is more just about his story, Scobie shared. The writer also noted that the book won't serve as some sort of bombshell piece, but will still be an interesting look inside the royal's life. Of course, his story is so much more than just the few years of his life as the Duke of Sussex. Scobie explained. I think for people expecting that warts and all moment, it's not going to happen. That said, it's still going to be fascinating. Page 6 broke the news in July 2021 that Harry would be writing an explosive memoir about his life in the British royal family. We also exclusively reported that he made $20 million from the book deal with Penguin Random House. Harry said in a statement at the time, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively, and my hope is that in telling my story, the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned, I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. He added, I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity to share what I've learnt over the course of my life so far and excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. Affirming Scobie's claims, sources told Page Six that Harry's memoir was not intended to be a FKU to the royal family and that his intentions are purely to tell his truth. But other members of the royal family have expressed their concerns over Harry's upcoming book, including his father, Prince Charles, and the Prince of Wales' second wife, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, effectively resigned from the royal family in February 2021 and moved to California, where they reside with their two kids, Archie, two, and nine-month-old Lilibet. They wed in 2018.